up you guys welcome back to the channel today we're going to talk about the different types of badminton racket grips and as you know there's two types of grips first you have your synthetic rubber grip and second you have your towel grip now the question that i get a lot is which one is better there's really no definitive answer to this because it all comes down to your personal preference but what we can do today is i will talk about each type of grip the pros and cons the durability and the pricing of each of the grips. So before we get into it, please make sure you guys hit the subscribe button, drop a thumbs up for me and turn on your notifications for some of my upcoming videos that I have planned for you guys. Now, let's get into it. To start out by taking a look at synthetic rubber grip. It's actually made out of a material called polyurethane, which is essentially a plastic that's really similar to rubber and this is what gives this type of grip the soft, stretchy, and flexible properties that it has. One of the things that you'll notice is that top doubles players typically use these rubber grips over the towel grips. Moving on to towel grip. These are made out of cotton and it almost looks just like a towel that is cut into a narrow strip with some tape backing to help you adhere it to your racket handle. But it's just much thinner than the towel that you might be using after you shower. If you pay close attention, most top men's singles players prefer towel grip over the synthetic rubber grip that we just saw. It's also more prevalent in countries that are more humid and moist where you might sweat more. And we'll talk about why in the pros and cons. Pros and cons of the rubber grip. Now for the pros, the main benefit is that these are grippier and dry and have a soft spongy feeling. They're also thinner and flexible so you can stretch it to your preference. For the cons, one of the main downsides is that it's not really meant to soak up sweat. It tends to get really slippery when there's a lot of moisture or sweat that soaks into the grip. Fun fact, although for rubber grip, Yonex has a spray that can actually be used to enhance the stickiness of the grip, most times you'll just see players swap for another racket from their bag with a dry grip if they feel like their rubber grip is getting too slippery. Pros and cons for the towel grip. For the pros, the biggest benefit for towel grip is that it's just meant to absorb moisture and sweat. But for the cons, the downside is that it's thicker and you cannot stretch it to make it thin to your preference. Another thing is that it can kind of start to stink if you don't change it as often since the sweat from your hands just dry the grip out. Fun fact for towel grips. Now, when these get too sweaty, you can use grip powder and that just enhances your grip by drying your hands. Durability. How long do each of these grips last? This will really depend on how often you play. If you play every day, you obviously would need to change your grip much more often than someone that only plays once a week. With synthetic grip, you typically know that it's time to put on a new one when it's either really dirty or when the surface is no longer sticky and it's starting to wear down. With towel grip, it starts to get rougher and rougher as it dries after sweaty sessions and you start to lose the fluffy soft towel feeling that it had when you initially put the grip on. And that's a sign for you to change the towel grip. Obviously when you buy these grips in bulk instead of single packs, it will be cheaper. So I did some quick searching at current prices and I found that a single rubber grip will probably cost you around $3 per grip. If you buy the rubber grips in a 30 pack, they end up coming out closer to about $1.50 to $2 per grip. Now a single towel grip costs anywhere from $4 to $5 per grip. And if you buy it in a full roll, which averages around 15 rackets, then it comes out to being closer to about $2 or $2.50 per grip. In either case, towel grip is just slightly more expensive. So at the end of the day, it really comes down to how much you sweat and what type of feeling you're looking for. If you wanna learn how to put each of these types of grips on your racket, you can check out my other tutorial videos. That's all I got for you guys in this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.